Welcome to an introduction to Microsoft Visual Web Developer 2008 by Moral Hawks. Our objectives. View the completed website design, become familiar with Visual Studio tools, and create a new web page. Here I have created a semi-functional website with active link buttons and a fillable invoice. If I click the link for page 3, a new page comes up with a title and return to main menu button. If we click on this button, we see that it takes us back to the home page. Next, I will show you the fillable invoice. This was all created using Visual Web Developer 2005, but can be easily opened and manipulated in 2008. Now let's take a look at Visual Web Developer Tools. The buttons here are created using the button tool under the toolbox. The title is created using the label. A user cannot fill in a label on a website like they can with a text box. If I go to page 2, we will see the text boxes that can be filled in by a viewer of the web page. The pictures on this page and on page 1 are opened into the program separately and inserted. If we look over here to the right, we see all of the pages and folders that we need to bring our website together. Visual Web Developer 2008 has all the same design features as 2005, so one can transition easily from either program. In order to get all of these web pages to work together, you must link them to one another. If we want a button on a page to link to another page, we must view the button's properties. If we go over to the property section and scroll down to post back URL, we can click on it. We have several options of which page to direct our button to. Since our button is already going to page 2, I'm going to click cancel. This is how our website buttons link to one another when we view it on the internet. Now we will try creating a new website with the things we've learned. In order to open a new website, we go up to File, New Website. Make sure that it's an ASP.NET website and click OK. We will start out on the source page Make sure that you click Design. Let's make a title for our page. Click the Label button and drag it over. Instead of typing immediately, go down to the Properties for the button until you see text. Let's label this First Page and press Enter. Next, let's give it a button so we can link it to another page. Click on the button and drag it over. Do the same with the text and say link to second page. Now, in order to get a new page, we, need, we go to File, New File. Make sure it's a web form. Press Add. Make sure you're in Design View again. And let's make a button to link back to the first page. Now in order to tie these buttons together, go down to Post Back URL and click the default page, which is the first page that we worked on. Now go to the default page and do the same for it, except with the opposite page. Now let's run our page. Here's our title and our button. And we link it to the second page. Now we click this and it goes back to the home page. Let's review our objectives. We viewed a completed website design, became familiar with Visual Studio tools, and created a new web page with linking buttons. I hope this presentation has been very informative.